important considerations if you're thinking about hip replacement, I guess, include uh, being comfortable with your surgeon and the team of people that are going to help you. I think that it is very well documented that um, people that do these kinds of operations more frequently have less chance of having major problems. Um, but uh, there's, there's definitely lower risks of having major problems around the time of uh, joint replacement in centers and with people who do these things routinely. Um, you've got to be comfortable with who's doing it uh, for you and uh, you know, uh, comfortable with the process for the management afterwards. You know, a joint replacement is, is kind of like, um, uh, it's kind of like a relationship. You know, uh, I, I tell my patients that you're going to have that hip for as long as you're alive and as long as I'm in practice and we're going to know each other for as long as you have it. And uh, God forbid we have a problem. Uh, but, you know, we're going we're gonna to tackle it head on if we do. You know, we're not just going to bury our head in the sand. Uh, but you've got to be, uh, you got to be open and honest with people and, and uh, uh, you know, people should feel comfortable asking those kinds of questions. You know, what, what, if, what if something happens? You know, if the train does fall off the tracks, what are we going to do about it and, and can we help you manage it? And for us, the, the answer to that is yes. People ask me this question all the time. You know, should I have my hip replaced or, uh, you know, uh, uh, if I were you, uh, you know, if you were me, what, what would you do? And I always tell people there, there are, you know, three main reasons to have a joint replacement. Uh, number one is pain relief. Number two is pain relief. And then I let them guess what number three is. And hopefully they say pain relief uh, because, uh, it's, it's a big commitment. It's a life-changing uh, experience in some ways. I, I always uh, you know, tell people, once we start replacing parts of your body, we can't come back. So we need to make sure that we are doing these operations and that you have opted for this operation for you know, reasons that are, that are worth it to you. Because God forbid we do have a problem, we're gonna help you take care of it. Uh, or I encourage them to consider a life-changing operation uh, and they had a problem and I felt like I had pushed them to do it, you know. Uh, so we, we talk about that with everybody. Uh, but the, uh, the reason to consider a joint replacement is, uh, is pain that is, that is affecting the quality of life. It's not a performance enhancing operation and that's not the reason to do the operation. Now a lot of people do receive performance enhancing, bene enhancing benefits as a result of the operation, but that is not the primary goal of the operation.